Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at your next 72 hours, what you may be experiencing, what you may be going through. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the description box. My information is always listed there. And let's get into the reading. Pisces. The next 72 hours, what is the energy surrounding my Pisces for the next 72 hours? Pisces. Okay. So... The overall energy you're going to be stepping into during this time frame, we have the Ace of Wands. You at this current moment, we do have the Two of Cups. The challenge that may come during this time frame, we do have the King of Pentacles. Advice from Spirit, I have the Page of Cups. The outcome of this time frame is the Eight of Wands. And then let's pull some cards from this deck. I see this next 72 hours. So we have discernment and then we also have fear. So let's talk about all these cards that we have and what they mean. So the first card, the overall message being the Ace of Wands. Let me back this up a little. Okay, so with the Ace of Wands being the overall energy, um, this is new, invigorating, exciting energy that you guys are going to be stepping into. Whenever we see the Ace of Wands, this is like you guys either starting a new project that may be getting you super excited and you could be, you know, ready to go and, and ready to charge after the days that may be in this time frame. Others of you, this may be even starting a new passionate connection with someone um, starting a new relationship uh, with this Ace of Wands as well. Some of you guys may be getting laid during this time frame, especially if you have a a partner. Like the sexual energy may be flowing as well. That's another thing that's kind of coming through. Um, but nonetheless, this is really good energy. This is like self-motivation. This is like the ability to get going. This is like getting inspired. So... You guys may be feeling inspired by someone, and this may be pushing you as well. But moving into more of the energy that you may be in currently, I do have the Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups, this may be you being in love right now. You may be feeling some sort of strong connection to someone. This may be a soulmate connection or just you guys being either in a relationship with someone and feeling like the relationship itself may need some work, but you do still care about this individual. And even if you aren't quite like in a committed relationship with this individual, it's just more of you guys like dating casually, you still are kind of looking at this connection and what could be better about it or what may be missing as well. Um, and then for my singles, the way that I'm kind of looking at this two of cups this is like you guys trying to get internal balance and also trying to make sense of your relationships with other people, regardless of just romantic. This is like looking at your relationships with people and whether or not you get reciprocation from certain relationships as well. Um, now, and this could be also looking at relationships with your family and stuff like that. But looking into the third card, this is going to represent the challenges that may come up during this time frame. And with the King of Pentacles, this may be an issue with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For some of you, um, if this person could be a lover, a family member, really doesn't matter. Um, others of you, this is more of like finances. So this could be keeping a flow in a sense. Or 
some of you guys may be having like multiple things that you're kind of dipping your hand into financially. You could be feeling overwhelmed. Some of you guys, the challenge may be more of like health stuff and like staying on top of like eating healthy or working out like you may have promised. Again, this card is going to be different for each and every one of you. But when it comes to the advice from your spirit guides at the Page of Cups, and this is making sure that you're really taking a more mature approach this next couple of days in terms of how you deal with things, especially people who may be coming your way, who you have emotional connections with. So again, this could be family, friends, somebody who you're romantically interested in, really doesn't matter. This is being careful that during this time frame, if you do have people being petty towards you, that you don't engage in that energy, um, especially if those relationships mean anything to you. Um, and this is protecting your own personal energy. If you feel like people are playing with your emotions or making you feel emotionally off, you may be needing to analyze those connections as well. Um, also with the page of cups, this is looking at the maturity level of somebody who you may be dating. So some of you guys, you may be dating somebody who's a little emotionally immature and you may need to also consider whether or not that's going to work for you. Okay. Now the outcome of this time frame, I do have the eight of wands. So this is forward movement. Um, this is like you guys gaining momentum in life. So you're going to start to feel things shifting and moving really, really quickly. For some of you, you could just feel like there's a lot going on because a lot of different things may be taking place at the same time. But for others of you, this is just more of a, um, a forward movement card more than anything, especially if there has been any sort of delays. Now, let's talk about these cards that I have on the side. These are from my Queen of the Moon Oracle, and this card is Discernment. So let's talk about discernment. So this is making sure that you're using a level of cautiousness. That's the word I would use. Um, and looking over details in terms of what you're giving energy to. Um, this also is a card letting you know that you need to look carefully and judge wisely in terms of whatever decision you may be needing to make. Um, and there also may be something that's difficult for you to quite grasp or see about your situation, but something that you guys may be having in your life may be off. <laughs> you may be needing to really look at either a relationship, a job, all that. And then with the second card, we have fear. And with this card, this is speaking to your fears and whether or not they're projecting certain things into your reality. Um, this is also a time for you guys to be a little bit more courageous and also understanding that fear is the only thing that stops you from really being successful. And also some of you guys may need to look at whether or not some of your fears are old or new or useful or unhelpful and keeping you blocked. So this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective for my Pisces. If you enjoyed, make sure you thumbs this video up. Make sure you subscribe. Again, if you want a personal, check out the description. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And yeah, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.